Hi guys, so Jason from JVA Carpy Adventures and today I'm going to do a review of Solar Tackles Undercover Two Man Bivy in Camo. So this is the outer, I've also bought the inner capsule. Now this is an absolutely huge bivy guys and not one I would normally be using but next month I'm off to France and I want to be comfortable. I've got a two man bivy, it's 150 high, this is meant to be 200 high, so two meters in height, so I should be able to stand up in it, which for comfort is going to be worth it. The second main point for me buying this was Total Fishing Tackle were doing this unit by itself for £200, and then Tackle Tavern were doing this for like £52, so literally 250 I've got an inner and an outer two meters high it's meant to be 3.6 by 3 meters in width it's huge so let's unbox it let's set it up for the first time in the garden and we'll have a look at it see how just how good it is for the money but I've got high hopes on this one guys let's get it up okay guys so first impressions well it's quite a substantial bag I love that it's a camo bag to match the camo bivy. That's a really lovely touch. It's got the Velcro straps to help with tensioning the bag up, which again, I think is a great, real great idea. You know, really, really good. So that's great. And I don't know whether I might zoom, on, zoom in on these later, but the pulley for the zip, it's really nice, it says Solar on it, but it's a big size, so you're not trying to pull a little thing down here, it's quite substantial, so nice, that's really nice Solar, I like that. So, some instructions, lovely jubbly, I might breeze over them, maybe have a quick look, just to make sure I don't try putting it up wrong for the first time. So let's put that to one side, and then obviously you've got all the unit quite substantial guys also just to let you know this weighs about 16 and a half kilos guys so it's not a light bivy it's not for regular use over here I have literally bought it for France although I am my next trip to the bank will be with Emma this is coming with us we've got to put this up on the bank so let's lift it up take the bag off Put that to one side. Look at that. It's quite substantial. Okay, I might just uh, zoom out on the camera, guys, so I can roll it out and show you what you get. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna unroll all of this and I'll give you a bit of a wider angle so you can get to see what I'm gonna see for the first time. I presume it's gonna be lengthways. Start here. Take that off. Put that with the bag. I'll try and get this probably a bit better in the shop guys. Pull this back to there. And then let's throw that out. Let's show you what you get. Okay. Obviously the bivvy's there. Brilliant. Some poles. I know there's quite a few that are needed for this, guys. And I know that's going to be for the peak at the front. Okay. Ah. Camouflaged, couldn't see it. And the pigs. So, happy days. Okay, guys, so as you can see, Absolutely lovely, <laughs> even though it's not even put up yet. So, when I normally get a first a bivy for the first time, what I like to do, guys, is actually get a couple of shots of how it's wrapped up. So when I come to fold the ground sheep up and fold, put it all back together, most of the time I can get it pretty much the same as how it comes. So, always worthwhile, guys, if you've got a brand new bivy before you start pulling everything out. Just take a couple of pictures of how they've set it up to get it into the bag so neatly so you can replicate it or duplicate it 
when you come to pack down. So I think the next part's got to be setting it up. Okay guys, so this is going to be my very first time ever putting this together. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes and how awkward it is. Bear in mind this would normally be put up by two people guys. It is a two man bivy, it is a substantial size. But I'm going to obviously try and put it up by myself so. Right, let's give it a go. Just so you can see guys, your proper decent tea pegs. Got solar emblem on them, but you probably won't see it on camera, but proper tea pegs. Just gonna put one in the back before I start doing anything else. Okay guys, so as you can see it's quite substantial. I'm just gonna finish pegging it out everywhere before I put the ground sheet in and then I'll give you a little look around. All right guys, so I'll just give you a little walk around now that it's pegged out. Give you a little bit of a view of what it's like. Zoom out as much as I can, but I've only got so much room here. It's quite a nice camo design. Support bars in the middle. Support bars at the top. Fairly flat at the back. Not that you'd probably be putting your bed chair at the back. You'd be having two bed chairs in this. Probably get a bit of drone footage, I think, as well. Show you exactly what it's like from the sky. I haven't got a lot of room here, I'm afraid, guys. It's quite big. That's a quick little walk round. Now I've just got to put the ground sheet in. Okay guys, so I'm gonna get the ground sheet in, but it's worth noting that on one end of the ground sheet there are red Velcro. They correspond with the red Velcro at the back of the bivy. So at least you know what way you're pushing it in and where it goes. So let's get that in. Let's give you a little look inside, what it's like. It simply Velcro's in at the side, guys. And the two that go to the back have red Velcro on. So it's easy to match up which is the back and which is the front. But towards the front, you also got a ringlet hole there. Not totally certain what that's for. I have heard that there's a power outlet, but I know that's at the back. So I'm gonna show you that a little bit later when we've got more light going through. As you can see, you do have side pockets already built in on both sides. It looks like they toggle in and out, which is quite nice. You have an absolutely massive 
is that as far back as I can get? No. So you have an absolutely massive window at the back that you can open up to be pure mozzie mesh all the way through. And then inside, you have these parts, and that's what the inner dome attaches to. So, that would be the next part. Let's put the inner dome in. Okay guys, so one of the reasons why I decided to go for this bivvy was obviously one the dimensions the room it's got for the money plus it had an inner capsule you can put in it which is basically another mozzie mesh which is really why i wanted it to be fair keep out all the insects but it has an absolutely huge rear mesh window which before i end up putting the inner dome in i'm definitely opening that so guys, it's a bit warm today and I am roasting. But as you can see, look at that. Absolutely huge vented mesh window at the back. And for France, that's gonna be a life changer for me. It'll keep that air flowing through and keep me cooler. All right guys, so on the outside, might as well show you. Nice little bit of solar tackle icon down there. You've got the rod straps up here. Two of those. Now, you've got this canopy, which actually, there's a zip here, and you can actually unzip the canopy, so you don't actually have to have the canopy on. I'm not sure why you wouldn't want to have a canopy on, I think it's nice, but uh, helps block a little bit of sun, but yeah, so you've got that. The... I'll probably zoom back and show you all the door with all the doors open. All right guys, so now you can see it. We have literally all the vents on the standard outer capsule opened. I haven't opened the doors or anything, so you've got everything shut, but just with the mozzie mesh on everything you can. So the front door also does a clear screen, so I'll put that down for you and show you that next. The only difference is it now has the clear window on the front. Okay guys, so now you could kind of presume you've got wind coming in towards you, so you've got the side door panels down, but you've got the clear window on there so you can still see your rods, so quite versatile. Also the door does letterbox opening, so let's show you that now. Pure letterbox opening on the door, also you could either do it left or right because it's actually got two sets of two-way zips so you could actually open it all the way over to one side all the way over to the other part way up part way down any sort of way of letterbox opening so really versatile front door also that front infill panel you could actually have it totally unzipped and all the way toggled back at either side so you've got a massive opening or you can actually do what I'm gonna do next and take the whole front panel off. So the next thing I'm gonna do is show you inside. After that, I'm gonna take the ground sheet they supply you out and I'm gonna put in the inner capsule. Now the inner capsule comes with its own built-in ground sheet and essentially a mozzie mesh all the way around, which is my reason for this purchase, really. Like I said, you can't but miss once you've got it open, this absolutely huge vent at the back, which is amazing. And then they have this little thing down here. Hopefully there's enough light that you will get to see it. There you go. So just that there, which essentially is a little pocket for you to run an electric cable in from outside, if you want to. So clearly this is aimed at the long-term stay angler which for me is France. I won't have electric hook up there, but it's a really neat idea, really nice. The only one thing, guys, I can't tell you what it's for is there is an eyelet here and a bit of Velcro behind. I've got no idea what that's for. If anyone does, let me know in the comments below. That'd be quite cool. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Okay, guys, so another little look just before I take out the ground sheet. So that's got the whole front infill panel unzipped off which is going to be my preferred use in France. So, got to give it a try now, make sure it's all good, but as you can see, there is absolutely loads and loads of room in there. I'll be honest, I think you could probably easily fit three bed chairs in there, guys. It's huge. There you go, guys. Just a quick little look without the ground sheet in. Bear in mind, inside this, actually I'll probably show you, you have got three tension straps so let's show you where they are 
you don't want to be falling over them when you go in to put your ground sheet. So, first one, as normal, is pretty much at the front. Then you've got to the next rib, which is here, and then you've got to the next rib, which is here. So, you've got three tension straps on this, guys. Obviously, it takes a little bit longer to set up than your standard three rib pram bivy where they're all joint in the middle but like i said this is a sort of bivy you put up for a week it's not for that 48 hour session unless you really need extreme comfort there you go guys so that's just the inner capsule which is sold separately and at the minute instead of being a hundred odd pound i got that from tackle tavern for 52 pound delivered which it's cheap as chips isn't it guys really you can't be without it really if you're going to France you want a whole mesh on the inside happy days let's get it up obviously guys with these mesh inners they attach various points inside the bivy so I'm hoping I won't lose too much height with it but I'm going to film it all you can see it in fast motion and see exactly what I'm talking about All right, guys, I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I've discovered. I did think it was this way. So essentially, if you're going to use the inner capsule, you want to take out the ground sheet. I did think that already because when I was putting down the ground sheet, I could see these uh, quick lock connectors on there. So I'm going to show you where they are, what they are. So essentially, connectors like that, which marry up with points like this on the ground sheets so if you can't see that so they've got them all the way around guys so you are literally just clipping them in from the back to the front attaching the toggles to these work your way from the back to the front and it should be absolutely easy so he says it's going to be easy let's give it a try Okay guys, so there you have it, essentially. The whole bivy up with the inner. Obviously it does take a while, but like I said, you know, if you buy this bivy, it's not to use for 48 hours. It's because you want to do a week long session or something, but full mesh all the way around on the inner capsule, which means the ventilation you've got going through that is as much as you can get as, you know, not having any doors on at all. And for me, the absolute magical thing for this is the door. Which is just magnetic. All clips back up. If you want to come running out in the night, you don't have to worry about the mozzies. It seals itself back up. That's why I got it for France, guys. How cool is that door? Works so well. Okay guys, so as you can see with the inner capsule on, looks lovely, maximum airflow and obviously with that magnetic quick release door, it's an absolute game changer guys. You know, it's got built in ground sheet obviously so it'll keep the bugs out, keep the rain out, bloody better keep the snakes out in France and you can get in and out of it quickly. Now I probably would do the zips down at the bottom there. I, oh, that's as zoomed as I can go. I would probably open them a little bit more because, yeah, you might have the odd mozzie go in, but it does make going in and out a lot easier. So I'm going to unzip them a little bit and just show you how easy it is. I think that really should be enough. Gives you loads of access. You've only got to go all through, seal itself back up. If you want to get out, put it out seals itself back up. I mean, how good is that, guys? That works. You know, Solar have thought about that. And I'll tell you what, for fishing, why, why doesn't everyone do like quick release doors like that? I mean, surely, that's exactly what you want. So the next thing is, see what it's like inside. So let's have a look. All right, guys, so now we're inside. You can see that it has got normal-ish material on the sides where you'd want it but way before you get to that rear vent 
it's all mesh. And then if I turn around to the front, it's the same scenario. You have got solid material on the sides, but then when you get to the front, the whole lot is mesh, guys. So for ventilation in France, I can't think of anything better. I really can't. Obviously, you've got the built-in ground sheet, so it'll keep all the insects and crap out. You've still got a hook here to hang your light or mozzie zapper. Uh, I'll be honest, guys, it, it, it's, it, this is ideal for me. For France, this is ideal. I could not think of anything better. Uh, so solo, I've really done well. I think I've maybe lost... I, I haven't lost more than 10 centimetres in height. I'm kneeling down at the minute. But if I still stand up, I'm standing up in it now, guys. And, you know, yes, I've got my head bent over, but for the benefit of having built-in ground sheet, mozzie mesh front and rear, quick, quick zoom out doors, I mean, you know, all you're gonna do is this. That's it. You're out. And then it seals itself back up. I mean, that's just amazing. That's really good, guys. Something else I wanted to show you when I had the door on, guys, but forgot. So all of the zips have these nice big rings on. They're obviously so easy to get your finger in and open the zip. Like, so all the zips and everything work really well. It does seem to be really good quality, guys. Really, really pleased with it. So, in closing, guys, would I recommend the Solar Undercover Two Man Bivy? Absolutely, a million percent, if you're gonna get it at the price or close to the price that I paid. I, I've looked on Total Fish and Tackle today and it's 219. I got it for 199 in the camo. They're doing the green in 199 up to you what your preference is and that will get you the outer so not the inner mesh that we're looking at now but i got that from tackle tavern for only 52 quid so literally 253 quid all in i've got something that is absolutely perfect for france now there is one slight downer and i hate doing these reviews and have a downer but there is one slight downer guys okay so i bought this from the total fish and tackle website that advertised it as being 200 centimeters high i'll give you a little picture here and that means i would have been able to totally stand up in this and had ultimate comfort in france but this is not 200 centimeters high guys this i've measured it and I, it looks to be about 160 centimeters to me so i just want to let you know that full disclosure Total Fish and Tackle and a few other sites do advertise it saying it's 200 centimeters high and it's not. So just bear that in mind, guys. I mean, but for me, with this door and all, you know, it's a game changer. It's absolutely what I require for France. And this will literally only be a bivy for France, which will either be me or me and Emma going. So there's absolutely loads of room for both of us in there. Fantastic, happy days. Really think Solar have done a really good job on this. I especially love the inner capsule. You know, if you're gonna buy this and you're going to France, you absolutely ought to have, or, or any of the European countries where mozzies are a problem and all, you've got to have this inner, inner capsule, guys. It makes a massive, massive difference. Can't wait to get it out on the bank in France. Get it up there, happy days. Okay, guys, so there we have it. That's my review of Solar Tackles Undercover Two Man Bivy in camo. And obviously for me, I've bought it for a specific reason, i.e. my trip this year to France, where I wanted to get a bivy that had an inner capsule, which this one does have. And obviously, as you would have seen, it has a magnetic door, which is just brilliant for getting out quick, but also for self-locking as you go out. So I'm not worried about too many mozzies being there in there. I will have the mozzie zapper with me, but for that sort of price point, I know it's gonna be discontinued and all that sort of stuff at some point, but I'm not bothered. It's literally a bivy for my occasional use abroad when I want something really big with an inner capsule. And for me, that really ticks all the boxes. So guys, if you've enjoyed watching this and fishing is your sort of thing, please remember to subscribe to my channel. 
and if you've enjoyed this video pause it give it the old thumbs up and like and if you want to be notified of future posts hit that bell icon so I don't just do reviews I do fishing vlogs which is my mainstay including the popular mousehole diaries which is about mousehole lakes in Paddlewood Kent and I also do bait making as well guys so it doesn't cost you to subscribe so please please subscribe it really helps my channel grow and only leaves me to say stay safe stay fishing